consume and share news today. It is largely rooted in social media outlets, a reason why it's crucial to look at what's being discussed online from the hottest issues to trends for our daily social media minute. We're joined by Erica via Zoom. Good morning, Erica. Good morning. I heard the bus took you the wrong way. <laughs> no, the bus went the right way. I just got on the wrong one. <laughs> I was just trying to put a spin uh, on it, but I mean, it happens to the best yeah, of us. <laughs> I'm, I'm near somewhere near Gangnam Station right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us despite a of difficult course, morning. Uh, all right, let's jump into some of these buzzwords that's making headlines. Uh, if you're a gardener or just someone who appreciates a well-decorated outdoor space, this might just be the Oscars for flower shows, the 2023 Chelsea Flower Show. Yes, uh, this year's Chelsea Flower Show is currently underway and it's going to be held until May 27th. Um, so this is a it's a it's a well established uh, garden show, a flower show that's been going on for a really long time. The first one was held in 1862, so uh, it's been more than a hundred years since the the Chelsea Flower Show has been open. Um, it is held in May every year. Uh, on the grounds of the Royal Hospital Chelsea in Chelsea, London. And, uh, you know, the show is attended every year by members of the British royal family. Mm. So the reason why we're talking about the flower show this year is because Korean environmental artist and designer Hwang Ji-hae has returned to Chelsea for the first time since 2012. And that was a very important year for her because she she won a gold medal for her DMZ inspired garden. Uh. And uh, yes, uh, the garden was inspired at the time by a war zone. But this year, her garden taps into another very different landscape from Korea. Um, you know, this this year's design was inspired by the Chirisan Mountain. Mm. Now, this is her third time winning the gold medal mm. at the Chelsea Garden Show because her first ever gold medal came in 2011. Mm. At the time, her design titled Heuso won a gold medal. Heuso, by the way, means a, a space in which one relieves his or her burden. It's a it's a it's another word for toilet, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. where, where you dump uh, essentially all all the <laughs> impurities, if you will. <laughs> exactly. How creative is that, though, right? I was going to say, is storytelling a big part of the Chelsea Flower Show? Because I can yes. see why this environmental artist and designer, Hwang Jie, continuously wins every time she returns. Because, I mean, the storytelling is so creative. It stirs up a conversation. And most importantly, perhaps, is beautiful aesthetically it should probably right. do that at the end of the day so let's talk about her gold winning design this year yes so her design is titled a letter from a million years past and uh, it's inspired by sort of like the super ancient forest and rocky outcrops of the Chirisan mountain uh, Chirisan mountain by the way is known as the mother mountain of korea and uh, all the hundreds of medicinal plant species and herbs that are found there and uh, these herbs include the prized wild ginseng, mm. uh, sansam, and todok, which are Lance Asia bell roots. So the roots are uh, commonly eaten here in Korea. Now, uh, there are rocks all over Chirisan Mountain, and they've been there for over 2 billion years. And these rocks provide a unique space for these tiny little plants to thrive. And for Hwang Jihye, these rocks and plants uh, represent special letters sent to us us from millions of years ago with a message asking us to protect their habitat. So it's very much in tune with everything that's happening and everything we're talking about um, that we're talking about 
all over the world right. today regarding climate change. You and know? respecting the environment and preserving what's That's left. Right. Now, if those rocks could tell stories, the things that they would say, and maybe Huang listened a little bit more carefully than the rest of us. That's right. You know, water is another vital element of her design. Um, the design emulates how streams flow across the rocky landscape. Mm -hmm. uh, the water of Tidisan Mountain is called the lifeline of the mountain. And uh, she says she wanted to reproduce just how abundant Abundant water flows through and forms a small valley. Mm -hmm. Now, the importance of herbs as a link between humans and nature is uh, highlighted by the garden's main structure, which is a five meter tall herb drawing tower that uses a design employed for centuries in Korea as a way of preserving these medicinal plants of the mountains. And uh, I have a fun fact for you regarding her design. 200 tons of rocks and boulders uh, were sourced from Scotland to express these rocky outcrops typical of the terrain of the Chirisan Mountain here in South Korea. 200 tons of rocks. Yes. Who's yes. going to move it back? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. All right. But I mean, as for the integrity of the design, she needed those rocks. So they got them there. Now, how large is this mountain inspired garden that she created for the event? You know, um, by looking at the photos, you can't really tell, uh, but it's 10 meters by 20 meters. And uh, this relatively small space holds around 300 different types of plants, mm. um, you know, and uh, her aim the entire time designing this garden was to encourage visitors to look at the importance of medicinal plants from a fresh perspective and consider how destroying their habitats harms both humans and nature. Mm. And uh, her piece drew a lot of attention uh, at the, the flower show because it's the only overseas production out of the 12 entries at the show garden, which is the highlight of the Chelsea flower show. Uh, did I also see a royal giving a hug to the gold winner? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, King Charles III is, a, is an avid lover of gardens. It's a very well-known fact. Mm. And uh, he was full of praise for her design. He said things like, I love it, brilliant and marvelous. And uh, she actually requested a hug from him, which she happily gave. And uh, <laughs> the photos are circulating on the Internet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get the last word from the designer herself. I mean, I can put the pieces together, what she wants to voice as an environmental artist. But uh, what has she said on the record about her latest design and what she wants the visitors to take away? You know, she's been unhealthy. She's had health issues mm. these past 11 years. So that's why she's taking part in this event for the first time in more than a decade. And she says she feels joy as well as a sense of relief because creating a garden like this is a huge undertaking that takes a toll on her physical and mental health. And she says, uh, you know, if she can make the visitors notice those tiny plants on the street at their feet on their way back home after visiting her Korean garden and start to wonder what secrets of nature these seemingly insignificant or unnoticeable plants have, then her exhibition will have been a success. All right, folks, if you didn't get the visual, we did stream some of the images of this beautiful garden, but be sure to check it out again. Letters from a million years ago. It is really breathtaking and you got to yeah. see it to believe it. All right, on to our second story today. Now, honestly, the South Korean airport is well known for its excellent service. That is no surprise if you've <laughs> <laughs> dropped by our country, you would know. Now, it wants to up its game by offering same day luggage delivery service. Why wasn't this available when I arrived from Chicago? Just a thought. <laughs> I mean, this is brilliant, actually. The service is uh, dubbed T Luggage. <laughs> Uh, you know, Seoul Metro, the operator of Seoul Subway Service, uh, has started offering the same day luggage delivery service between mm -hmm. Incheon and Kimpo International Airports and subway stations mm -hmm. to um, expedite or enhance travel convenience for passengers. All right, can you tell us about this service? How does it work? I can imagine how visitors benefit a great deal from bringing luggage and just going right about touring as soon as they land, as long as they can send the luggage to their hotels. That's right. So using the service, travelers can leave their luggage at the subway station in the morning. 
um, and claim it at the airport after work or after their day of you know touring around the city. Um, foreign travelers can leave their luggage at a nearby subway station after checking out of their hotel, retrieve their luggage at the airport, which you know allows them to use their time more effectively before mm -hmm. their flight. So to benefit from the delivery service, travelers have to sign up at the Hanjin Courier Service at Incheon International Airports Terminals 1 and 2, or at the Tea Luggage Center at the various uh, Seoul subway stations, including Lines 1 and 4 at Seoul Station, Tongyi Chungang Line, the airport railroad line, the Hongi University Station on Line 2, and there are a bunch of other stations that you can look up to use this service. Uh, do users of this particular service have to make maybe reservations in advance? Mm -hmm. mm. So online reservations have to be made uh, a day prior, so a day before uh, on T Luggage's homepage. Uh, the website is available in several languages, including English, Japanese, and Chinese. All right, uh, Erica, this conversation is moot if the uh, service itself is unaffordable. How much does it cost? Yes, so the service costs between 17,000 won, roughly 13 US dollars, and 45,000 won, or 34 US dollars, depending on the size and weight of the luggage, place of delivery delivery and period of usage. And weekend rates, by the way, are a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. than during the week. Now, discounts on this new service are being offered until June 11th. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> check it out if you have travel plans. It certainly sounds like a more efficient way to get your sightseeing in. That's right. Thank you very and much. The luggage system is also going to be expanded to, uh, you know, 278 locations across Seoul. All By right, the there we have yep. it. So they're only expanding and it might be just the invitation you needed to visit different parts of Korea. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much, Erica. Be sure to double check your bus <laughs> ride this morning. I will. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. If you're listening to our program using the podcast service, just a reminder that we do go live Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Korea Standard Time. So tune in and help us make the show more informative by giving us your input. See you bright and early on Good Morning Seoul.